experience has never been, it's been quite unique because I'm working in Spain but I'm not doing a job that any Spaniard could do. I'm being specifically employed as a native speaker and someone who's as someone who's middle class white and can speak two languages, I guess I don't get subject to the abuse that a lot of immigrants here and over there do, people from poor countries and black people, people with different coloured skin get subject to more abuse. A British passport can get you into 173 countries, which is one of the most in the world. With that power, we should be maybe using it more. I mean, people are so against anybody coming here without having gone anywhere else themselves. I mean, it's, it's a very closed-minded attitude. The idea that immigrants who come here steal our jobs is hugely exaggerated. The sheer amount of headlines about immigration in the UK just doesn't make it any easier. It's always front page. There are much more pressing issues like climate change, that's an actual issue. But immigration always takes the front page. It's on all the papers, whether good or bad. Normally bad, normally the Daily Mail and the Daily Express and the Sun and the right wing papers. They always, they'll find a statistic, one that could actually be a good thing, they'll paint it in a bad light. If you look at the Daily Mail headline the other day, four out of five nurses are foreign here, and they try to paint that in a bad light as if they're taking jobs from English people, but I think we should paint that in a good light, because they're coming here and they're working in the NHS doing essential jobs. If a man can come here, take your job when he doesn't speak the language and has very little experience, you're not very good at your job. I think there's a real problem with the work ethic that we have here compared to those of the immigrants who come here because we feel so entitled to everything living in the first world. There are much more pressing issues than immigration that we need to be talking about. I mean, if you're really concerned that immigration has a detrimental effect on the economy, you should be more concerned about the massive corporations and wealthy people who avoid tax and disrupt the distribution of wealth.